Hello and welcome back to Boring Dad Gaming, where today we're going to be playing some more High Water. We are back at High Tower, and we have some supplies for people, so we're going to go and uh, give them to folks. Yes, yeah, Suzuki-san! Limbo, what have you there? Oh, nothing, just some uncontaminated food. Honto, come for ramen? Your toxic fish soup, maybe next time. That's it, throw some shade on the ramen guy. Uh, I guess we're going up to Nana's, probably. See what these people say anything to us? Walter! Bertha? Bianca? Nikos? What do you have for me? Two boxes of cereal, two litres of water and a kilo of rice. Oh well, that's not much. Oh, grateful. Good, you immediately revealed your cards. I can offer you some pickled herring, that's powerful stuff. We don't want pickled herring. One thing I'm not short on is fish. Nana already makes all kinds of pickled things. Ah, oh, but the only fish you have are mutants. Mine are guaranteed non-toxic. Oh well. Uh, oh well, give us the organic herrings. What a waste. Kid, you're a complete greenhorn. Bye, Bertha. Bye, Bianca. Always a pleasure. Take care. What have we got here? Alphaville sends five billion alpha dollars in aid to regions affected by... I think we've seen that before. I, I kind of remember that because I remember thinking, like, it's like Amazon bucks. Uh, yeah, we've definitely seen that before. Okay, what's up here? I think we've probably seen this one before as well. Yeah, I remember that. Okay. Where's Josephine? Barber. Flavio sent a carrier pigeon. Seems Vikings are coming. Kid, let's hurry to Nana and Mila. Barber, seems we'll need your trusty rifle. I'm guessing we've seen this as well. Yeah, okay. Oh, the priest stayed down there. Delivery for the schoolmaster. Hey, Prof. Oh, thank you. I, I don't have anything to offer in return. I can give you a lecture on the Epic of Gilgamesh. Sorry, Prof. Not now. We got to run. I'm guessing I've seen... Uh, seen both these books. Yeah. Kramer's coffee table book and that one. How's it going, Maria? Luigi! Rimbaud and the kid brought food! Why aren't you capable like Rimbaud? No one can be like Rimbaud. I'm the one and only. Like Chesney Hawks. Nana, for you and the kids! Oh, thank goodness! They've been on half rations for a week. And I brought you these organic herring. You call this organic? This is some of that pickle crap Walter makes in a bathtub. You seem tired, son. I just need some sleep. Come inside, son. You've been away. First we need to drop off some of the spoils at Miller's garage. And I want to hear your Alphaville plans, kid. So you made up your mind on going to Alphaville? I guess. We'll talk about it over dinner tonight. Nikos! Zlatan! Come, let's play football! I have something for you. Here you go. Wow, chocolate! Share with your friends. Let's play. One game only. Nana's making a full dinner for you. We'll play tomorrow. Promise? Pinky swear. Right, back to Mila's then. We know where that is. That's uh, it's around here somewhere, isn't it? I think that's it there. Oh, we're pulling pulling to the right now on the, on the dinghy with these boxes. I'm going in a straight line and it's definitely sort of pulling around. Mila! Oh, you're back! And we bring you gifts. Where's George? Sleeping, of course. Thanks so much, guys. Hey, George. Uh, hey, George mentioned you want to get into Alphaville. Word's getting around, huh? You coming with? 
George and I, we'd rather stay here, but... We don't really have a way to survive in the long term. We leave soon. Who's this? Come, quick! The Vikings are attacking the generator! Oh no. I'm coming with you. That's a pretty cool little hoverboard thing she got there. Look at that. It's like a motorized surfboard. Cool. Defend the generator. Gustafsson. Warlord Gustafsson. Give up High Tower and we'll spare your lives. Otherwise, we drink from the skulls of your dead. I faint when I see blood, boss. Why don't you turn that IKEA bathtub around and sail into the sunset? Too much macho bullshit. Boss, that sounds like an insult. Uh, you pasty Swedes, where's your IKEA to save you now? I don't remember what barber was. Uh, I can't remember. Um, actually, I'm from Prague originally, but my mom. Shut up, you idiot. There's no step-by-step -step manual to get you out of this one, Gustafsson. Isn't Gustafsson furniture for underwear? Don't you see he fancies himself a Viking? Attack! Oh, they're going first. What's he doing? Is he buffing them? Now, what's that square? Looks like it's going to shove them in the water, potentially. <laughs> oh god! Right. Okay. Um, fine. Well, what's this square? Characters are standing on this tile in danger of getting pushed by a fan at the end of the turn. And now this dude, what's this buff that he's got? Hard to say. I bet it's, it's probably more damage or something. Now these tiles will become electrocuted at the end of the turn. Okay. Um, right, are there any levers or anything like that? I don't think so. Game over if these are destroyed. Now, does Nico's and Rimbode's pull do anything? Not really at the moment. Okay, who we got up here? This is Mila. What's she got? She's got a, a shotgun and a melee attack. We've got... Hang on, we're going to have to cycle through these guys. Josephine. Uh, melee attack. Range 3 stun. Okay. Uh, have we got any push? Mila Barber. Looks like he's got a sniper rifle and a knife. Nikos. He's got a pull. And Rimbo's got a pull as well. We'll save those for now. Um, well, we want these guys to get shoved at the end of the turn. What I wanted to do is maybe get someone here with a push who could push them that way. They and they would both definitely go in, but I don't know how possible that's going to be. I think Gustafsson needs to die, so I'm tempted to start with Barber and um, maybe just shoot this guy. Uh, now he's saying that should do four damage, but he's only taking three. Let's take it. Um, now we've got Mila. Fires an improv shotgun at multiple enemies in a cone, dealing two damage to each and applying disarm for one turn. It doesn't push, unfortunately. 
What's the range on it? One. Oh, okay, it's very close range. But maybe one her sort of at the top of this ladder preventing people coming up. Don't really know what to do apart from that. Nikos. The th yeah, the thing is, I don't want to... Um, I suppose I could go here and do the pull. On Gustafsson. Maybe trying to get him towards the water, but... I don't really want to be here at the end of the turn for obvious reasons. Alright. Maybe together we can kind of get this guy into the water. He's going diagonal, unfortunately. Does do a lot of damage though, so I think I'll do that anyway. Maybe he'll stop in this uh, square next time. Hit and run. Do we want to move him anywhere? I guess maybe we'll just move towards one of the generators. Now this one's interesting. <sighs> Stunning for a turn. Uh, yeah, we'll just come over there. What I'll do is stun this guy so he can't... I don't think he'll get pushed in the thing, unfortunately, but I think his mate might. So we'll do that. Then maybe he can get shoved off next turn. There we go. Oh, wow, they don't drown immediately. I... Okay, but they do take damage. Oh wow, he's an instant takedown. I had no idea. Okay, that's unfortunate. He's up. But he will get electrocuted. He's going to get shoved in. They're all getting shoved in, so... Oh god. Okay, so he's shoved in water and electrocuted, so he's dead. He's dead. Gustafsson should be dead, because he's going in the water and getting electrocuted. So we've got this guy. Yeah, I think what we do is we move here. And then we... Is that going to be the right cone? Nope, completely wasted it. I thought if we hit that square, it might hit both these guys. It did not. Uh, okay, so, well. I was tempted to restart the battle, but we'll carry on. Uh, yeah, let's get him. Dead, 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 in water. Uh, I don't need to attack those. I can't really move past this guy. I think I'm just going to take a step further to, closer to the generator. Um, he's only got melee. I don't see any point doing the melee because... Well, I just don't see any point doing the melee, so I think I'm just going to pass his go too. He's in the water. They're both in the water. Oh, he's not. Oh, yes, he is. And then they're going to get zapped. Now, hopefully because the lead is down, we're not going to see any more reinforcements. This is a bit dodgy, though. I should have stayed at the top of the ladder. That was an error, and it could have cost us the... Uh, Counter. Damn. Right, so he's going to get electrified. He needs to be dealt with. 
He's going to get shoved, but not all the way. He's in the water. Oh, God. Okay. I wonder if there's a certain number of waves then. Because the leader's down. I could definitely have done this better. Um, he's dead. Um, let's get to the top of the ladder with this guy. Um, we'll take a shot on you, I think. Uh, we're gonna take down this guy, who's not otherwise dead, so that will be him down. I can't believe Nikos went, went down. <laughs> it's really annoying. Okay, um, we haven't got the stun. It seems like it was a one-off thing, unfortunately. I feel like this guy's getting shoved in before he acts. Um, so, no. So let's uh, let's put some bleed on this guy. This is uh, this is a bit dodge. Uh, she, only, she only does very limited damage, unfortunately. Not a lot I can. It's not a lot I can do with her, to be quite honest. He's going to kill her before he, she has a chance to kill him, unfortunately. He's down. They're, they're down. Well, I mean, he's not down, down, but he will be next turn. This is unfortunate. Yeah, I feel like we might... I'm, I don't know whether to start restart the combat now or wait for it to play out, but... Damn, he went off. He is bleeding, though, and he chose not to attack her, which is good. So he'll be dead, but he is going to get a hit on. Fortunately. He's in the water. Oh damn, he's gonna, he's gonna so she's gonna be down. Damn. Okay. This is this is pretty bad, honestly. Oh god. More? Alright, look, we're gonna have to restart this battle because I've lost too many people. Unfortunately. But we we've got a better idea, I think, about how this combat works. generated yeah okay this is just this is just like a horde mode um well, i'm gonna bring her here she can't attack him but we're gonna have to stay at the top of this ladder to prevent them coming up so we're just gonna end her turn there uh here i feel like we can uh, move him to the top of the ladder and i am gonna shoot at gustafsson because we did get him down and he that means he's not gonna be like buffing others so What's this he's got? I mean, it, yeah, he probably should... Well, we'll take this when we know he's not going to die. Um, wish we could see... He came all the way up here and smacked Nico, didn't he? No, because we pulled him. One, two, three, yeah. I think... Let's get Rimbo here. He does, he does quite a lot of damage, so that's a nice one. Just, is that enough to kill him? I'm not sure. Well, one, two, yeah. Probably is. I'm going to restart again. We don't want this guy getting any closer on hindsight. He does wear the Ikea colours, interestingly. <laughs> so he's in the water. 
Um, he will get zapped, but he needs to get hit as well, otherwise he won't die in the water. Okay, so let's get Mila back on the top of this ladder. And that is, unfortunately, her turn. Let's get him the top of this ladder, and we'll snipe Gustafsson. I feel like the difficulty suddenly scaled up quite dramatically for this fight. I, pr I mean, I, I, do, I did have an automatic rifle. I just didn't equip it on any of the ones at that time because they felt like they might just be temporary characters. Uh, okay, so what's happening? Well, he's going to go in the water. Uh, but he won't die. If we attacked him, he would, but then he'll attack us. This, yeah, this is this is a one-off stun gun. It does work at range, so I might stun this guy just to ensure that he goes in. No, no, no. Ensure that he goes in the water next time. He's in the water. He won't die, but he will kind of in a couple of turns. <laughs> I'll take one in there, then he climbs up on his next turn, then he'll get finished off. So actually, we don't need to worry about him at all. These two, I don't really know what to do with. I tend to just to leave them here for this turn and just see what the Vikings do. Any costs, I might move a bit more central, just so we can cover this side as well. Uh, I'm going to leave it. Okay, so he's in the water. He's dead. They're both dead, so we don't need to worry about them. He's in the water and is effectively dead. So that's fine. This is a little concerning. Oh, he's he's dead as well. Great. Okay. Well, that's not too bad. All right. So we don't really need to do anything to any of these guys. Honestly, because they're, they're just dead on their turns. Uh, what we do kind of want to do, though, is snipe Gustafsson again. Just to make sure he does go down. Um, right here, we can actually put a shot on this one. Nikos, what I might want to do is come over here and kind of fish this guy up towards this stuff a bit more. Then he'll get pushed in the water. I might move Rimbo as well. What I want to do is maybe fish this guy up to here next time. Oh, we still got her. Um, honestly, I don't think she needs to do anything right now. He's in the drink. He's in the drink. These guys are in the water. And they're all going to get zapped. These guys will get up, but they will get zapped to death anyway. He really wants to get up this ladder. So they're dead. 
He's dead. <laughs> I see anyone who goes in that water is dead. So he's not. Um, but we could fish him onto that tile and make sure that he does die. Now, she doesn't actually have any limit on ammo on this gun, so I think we just keep shooting this guy. He does have limited ammo. He's got three more. I don't think he needs to shoot any of these guys, because what I'm going to do with this one... Where is he moving? I want him to be moving there. Why is it not telling me if he's moving there? don't like that. No, it's saying he's moving there, which is not as good. Undo the movement. Oh, he's moving there. Which isn't great. Uh, okay, hang on. Here? He's still moving there. Why isn't he moving diagonally onto this one? It's really annoying. Uh, I mean, he gets damage on him, so why not, I suppose, but it's not perfect. I mean, come on, do it. We could kill this guy, but it seems unnecessary. Dead, dead, in the water, dead. Probably more or less dead. This guy not dead. But we can... Uh, yeah, we'll just shoot him. It's a little bit of a waste of ammo, but it just means that he doesn't run in and get a smack on the generator, so I think that's got to be worth it. Maybe just kill this guy. Why not? She doesn't really need to do anything. Uh, we do have a couple of guys moving up this way though, so it might not be bad to have a sort of round this way able to respond to things a bit easier. In the water. Zap, zap, zap. The hill climb out and also get zapped. Okay. Right, he's dead. <laughs> is it anyone who goes in those squares is dead? It would be nice to have an indicator of how many waves we've got to face. So dead, dead, dead. This guy. So he'll, he'll be there. I think might be able to pull him in. I don't know. Extend that turn. Yeah, I think it's more important that she blocks the ladder, so we'll just leave her there for now. Not doing very much. I've only got two ammo left. I'm loath to use it again. Then he's pretty useless. But then it means that this guy dies, so maybe that is the thing to do. Now Nikos, so I don't really know what to do with. Yeah, just leave him there. 
And likewise. Damn, he does get a hit on. It's annoying. Oof. Got two others. That was a bit unfortunate. Yeah, dead. <laughs> cool. Right. They're dead. He's dead. This guy. I mean, she can whack, just whack him with this. I mean, it does mean that he doesn't get an attack, though, so that's good. Are we down to our last bullet here? Um, let's think about this. We can reach this guy with the hop. Ah, oh, we can't. Okay, let's undo that movement. We get him from here. Now he goes onto that square, but that does mean he goes in the water and dies. So, all right, let's do that. He can move now. Uh, I might just come up here. That probably was a mistake. Maybe Nikos can come and help us out here. If I taunt him, he'll avoid Rimbo, hopefully. May even end up on one of these electrified tiles. Uh, dead, 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 in the water and dead. Yeah. Okay, so it's this guy we've got to worry about. Let me put it here so we can't do an attack on the generator. Oh, we still got him. Okay, um, I'm just going to pass his turn for now. Interesting. Well, I mean, he's dead now. Okay, no new waves, so that should be game over. Attack this guy. Bloodlust. Okay, she gets another movement. I guess we'll just move over here in case, but I think we're going to be okay, so not too concerned, quite honestly. That's just going to be about Rimbo and Nico, I think. I uh, don't really need you to do anything. And Nikos. I don't really need him to do anything, to be honest. Dead, dead in the water and dead, so... Yeah, I think we're okay. Woof, that was a, that was a good one. Uh, yeah, there was some stuff going on there that we needed to work around, but yeah, interesting. The Hightower Fortress defended again. Those Swedes and leotards. Everyone, dinner at the Blind Bard. Come over in two hours. The Blind Bard. Amazing goulash, Rimbo. Not bad, eh? A special recipe from Geika Laszlo I met in Lisbon 20 years ago. Almost as good as my ramen. 
So, kid, we're doing this? Nikos and I had a long conversation about leaving Hightower. It's hard to leave this place, but I see no other way. I've been all around the Flood Zone. Alpha villains are desperate, insurgents are crazy, regular folks are turning on each other. And everyone dreams of the kind of security they have in Alphaville. Let me understand. Alphaville stopped giving aid and abandoned their outposts because they planned to sequester behind Alphaville walls and eventually evacuate to a better place. That's what everyone says. And their troops are packing stuff into this giant ship like Noah's Ark, bound for Alphaville from the Flood Zone. Conflicts from outside the Flood Zone will spill over here. It's inevitable. Gustafsson was just a dress rehearsal. We're happy to welcome people like Marie. Oh, thank you, Nana, for taking in my kids. Don't mention it. I'm the grandmother to 300 boys and girls. Nikos and Laura have been with me since they were 10 and 12. But eventually the cubs need to leave the nest. But insurgents and deserted Alpha Williams will take over. They won't ask for a hot meal from Nana. Go to Alphaville, son, and then maybe you'll find a way to help us. I don't want to see you go, but there's no future here. Rimbo and Joseph, are you going with Nikos? Seems so. The Blind Bard is not a safe haven it used to be. I'm always on the lookout. I shoot it down at least two men every week. I'm coming as well. Anyone else? I moved on so many times. Hightower is still one of the safest spots in the world. I'm too much of a wimp to go. George? Mila? We're staying. After everything we've been through, this is home for us. What about the kids? Oh, the kids will be fine. They seem to have some special immunity. It's people like us who are dying. In the morning, we shall go to Pineapple Plaza. Mr. Burnham is holed up there. He's the only one around with connections to Alphaville's top brass. At least he'll have some advice. Ah, enough plotting. You'll make me tear up. Let's just enjoy this moment. From tomorrow, it's canned beans all over again. Hear, hear. All right. Should we cut the cut the professor out? No, we'll get everyone in. There we go. Pescador de sueños en el viaje con la proa hacia el cielo azul. Con las voces de sirenas, cuando sopla el viento más magnífico y el empuje de las olas, de las olas más allá. Shut up! <laughs> Is that bald guy? I'm trying to sleep here. Go inside or I'll shoot you down from here. Goodbye! 
Bye, Nikos. Be safe. Si no hay rumbo ni marea, luz de luna, tu espuma nos nos da un poco de esperanza. We making a mistake. We'll find out soon enough. Botanical Gardens. Getting you around with our ears to the ground. Okay, well this appears to be our, what I think is our permanent party now, so it might make sense to hand out some of the, um, well, certainly the new weapon that we've got. I think Josephine could benefit from it. Um, no, she doesn't want it? Who wants, okay. Oh, Lauren, okay. Rimbo's, Rimbo's the only one that can use it. I wonder why that is. Interesting. All right, well, let's give it to him instead of his crowbar, I guess. Laura, oh. Oh, I can't give them anything. Okay. I mean, I like his harpoon. This only has three damage, uh, sorry, three ammo. I wonder if that is uh, recharged between combats. Might be. All right. Didn't have any boosters though. I was thinking, you know what? Are becoming oh, I'll, I'll do it a bit. With their incursions against Alvaville, who have escalated their retaliations in response. The insurgents are not to be trusted and are actively seizing civilian boats and press ganging dwellers into their cause. Be vigilant out there. Yeah, I was thinking about this. And I th oh, Nana put on a brave face. I had a lump in my throat all evening. I'll never get a chance to play that game with Zlatan. Never say never. Look at us. We're an odd group. Some always expected George and Mila would come along. So I was just going to say, it kind of reminds me a little bit of like a, like a Wes Anderson production. You know, with these sort of pastel colours and slightly um, dreamlike quality to some of it, and sort of whimsical humour. Um, yeah, obviously, obviously, it's not a direct um, comparison, but it's kind of the vibe I get. There was leakage from the nearby plant, which powers a third of Alphaville. That's why these trees look like pink sugar cotton. I thought those were cherry blossoms. It's a vibe. Oh, hello. This could be like a jump. Maybe we should just take it full steam. Should it shallow there? Okay, we'll get stuck. Nonsense! Oh. <laughs> That's it, I can't keep moving. We'll have to tow the boat, there's no other way. I feel like we're gonna get ambushed. Oh, hello. Uh oh. Hello, non-human enemies. What have we got? Ah, that's it. It's hard to really... Oh, okay, here we go. Tongue attack. Uh, attacks to applying cripple, which means unable to move for a turn, dealing two damage. Immune to disarm and cripple itself. All right, um, hmm. but they've only got five health. We can maybe knock down some trees, though. Laura, can you? Ah, oh, she can't jump there. Well, we can get this tree. Let's just have a thing. Let's have a think, think, think. Stun it. Hmm. 
but she's going to have to push this tree over. Look, I think we want to do that regardless of what else happens, so... It does look like it's set up for other things like that, but... Or I can't get there. We could um, kind of freeze it, maybe. Let me do this. Laura can move maybe up to there. Can't do a lot from there, unfortunately. Rimbo didn't go. I wonder why. He might. Oh, he's probably pushing the boat. I reckon we're going to get waves of these guys. annoying because they kind of hit hard. Laura can't move now. Can't do very much to be honest. We could stun this guy. Three damage and a bleed. That might not be the worst idea. No. Nope. Laura can't do anything. Nikos. It's probably just... It's probably just got to hit this frog. The question is, do we move somewhere first? It's probably going to cripple us, so I guess we just want to be out the range of that tree. I could have taken my melee booster. I kind of want to save it, though. I don't know if it's strictly necessary here. Okay, interesting. We can kill that now, although it seems like a little bit of a waste. Okay, well, Nico can at least use the fishing rod on him. Oh, they're going to cripple all of us. Okay, great. Brilliant. All right. Oh, and we're getting another one. This is, uh, this is nasty. Can't move anywhere. Come on, Rimbo. A bit quicker, please, mate. Okay, so what happens? Well, we can pull this guy closer and kill him next guy. He's going to attack us, but I guess that's probably okay. Um, these guys are... Pretty useless, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to stun this one. Laura can't do anything still. I'm going to have to just heal. So this little asshole. Did she? Oh yeah, there we go. I was going to say, she didn't heal. Uh, okay. That bleeding frog should die at least. Why wasn't he stunned? Is he immune to stun? Oh, man. This is a nightmare. At least he's dead. Come on, dude. His lore is not stunned this time. Um... Could kill this frog that's been bullying Nico. It's not going to kill him, is it? It's going to go there. You could pull it closer than kill it, but it's a, it's a bit of a waste. Um, but okay, at least it gets rid of him, I suppose. Can't do otherwise. 
I'll remove there. Push tree. Just hoping we get into that water this turn, because uh, it's going to be pretty nasty otherwise. Oh, don't freeze, Rimbo. Oh, you mother. I don't think he is frozen, actually. I don't think it. Maybe he is. I don't think he moved. Oh, man. Oh, my God. What do we do? This is awful. Um. I can pull this guy, but what's the point? Oh, I don't know. I think I've messed this one up. I just I don't know what to do. I'm gonna restart. I want Laura didn't get Laura didn't get frozen that one time. I wonder. Maybe. Oh, I think he didn't move because these things are in the way. Okay, Josephine, I think we want you to do this. I think that's fine. But maybe next turn she needs to kick these trees or something to get them out of the way. I think that didn't trigger, which was bad. Now these two... I don't think he can... cripple someone... if they're behind cover. I think that's kind of what we saw last time. So let's just do that for now. Three damage to an enemy. Yeah, we'll do that, and then Nico can actually uh, kill him. Um, I don't know if he can target him there, but we will see, I suppose. That's a paddling. Now, we'll see what happens, but I'm hoping that... Well, we'll see. He is targeting her. What happens? Oh, she does get crippled. However, I think Nico can push the tree on him. So I think that does get rid of him. means Laura won't be crippled next turn. Yeah, I think we ha I think that was what was blocking uh, Rimbo before. Uh, so Laura, um, just give up your go for now. I mean, she's going to get crippled, unfortunately. I don't think that was uh, avoidable. She can at least... Oh, God. She can at least shoot him, but... To what end? I mean... She only gets one of those. We could maybe use Nico to pull him closer. He does it from here. I don't know if he's got the range, to be honest. Oh, we might. I don't want to pull him diagonal, though, so let's just undo that for now. Did it from here... Can we pull diagonal? I mean, I know you can pull diagonal. I've done it. Don't think we'll have the range from here. Ugh. It's definitely not from here. Yeah. Alright, well, I mean, I guess we do it. Because what, what else can we... Oh! There we go. We got it. Sweet. So now she can attack him and put some bleed on him. Which actually means he's dead after he goes next time. Laura, I don't know. I might just position her behind this tree because I'm pretty sure we're going to get someone coming up here. Um, so kind of just... He makes that happen. He's going to cripple her, but she, he will die. I think this frog's going to kill her though, so it's a moot point. But we're getting closer to the um, the 
Did he not die? Yeah, he did. We're almost in the water. I mean, what can he do? He's going to come down here. Oh. What's our range on this? It might be alright. If we get here, I might be able to... Um, Freeze him. Ah, no, not quite. No. Do that movement then. I don't know really. Um, not much I can do. Laura's kind of waiting for one to pop up here. What, what squares does it get? It doesn't say, but I think it does three tiles. Um, Let's just leave it for now. Well, who's he going to attack? Oh, I don't think he gets crippled, so I think that's good. Oh, right. Not quite in yet. Okay. him here. He could hit it. No, I can't get on that side of that tree. Laura's kind of waiting for a frog that's not appearing at this point, so I think we'll pull her back. Um, Nikos can pull him here. Let's do that for now. So I think what I'll do with Nikos is uh, I think we'll freeze you. Might potentially be it. We might be in the water this turn. No. Okay, we've got a bit more. <laughs> a bit more to go. Okay. Uh, oh, we can kill this one. And that one on its own won't be enough to kill us, so maybe that's just the play. There we go. One frog, it can cripple one of us, it can't kill any of us. And the other one might be able to knock this tree down on it if we still have more turns to go. But if, there haven't been any new ones for a while, so I think that might be the end of the waves. Nope. <laughs> Famous lost words, and there's that one by the tree she was waiting for. But we're, but we're there. Okay, that, and that's the main thing. Okay. Those frogs would make a mean frog like soup. Let's carry on our way. Yeah, they're starting to get a bit challenging, the old uh, combats. So they're still quite puzzle-like. Like, you feel there's, um, you know, a particular solution. It's maybe not completely rigid, but I, I think you kind of have to get the idea of what you're being asked to do and, and follow that. With a, certain, with a little bit of flexibility in there as well. We've got an optional one, looks like it's off to the left. The key location may be off to the right. Let's go left. Oh yeah, it's right, it's right here. Okay, that's good. Nail gun. This automatic Hilti DX46 pneumatic nail gun from the home despot is a handy tool that can drive nails into wood, concrete and steel. She handles recoil better than any other nail gun on the market. When push comes to shove, it's also a deadly weapon. That's good. So we can give that to uh, Laura. Uh, looks like. So what does it do? It's um, damage three, range two. Good. Give her a bit of range and applies bleed. That's a really nice weapon, isn't it? So we'll give that to Laura. Um... 
Yeah, so Josephine can't use that, fortunately. Oh, 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 what's here? Back. Two health points, instant. Okay. Uh, well, we can certainly equip that on someone. Who could benefit from that? Um, we've both got something. He's more of a ranged character at this point, so let's give that to Josephine then. There we go. I'm currently in High Tower High, sitting in on a lecture by the prof, who is currently reading Homer. Let's listen in. When your crew have taken you past these sirens, I cannot give you coherent directions as to which of two courses you are to take. I will lay the two alternatives before you, and you must consider them for yourself. On the one hand, there are some overhanging rocks against which the deep blue waves of Amphitrite beat with terrific fury. The blessed gods call these rocks the Wanderers. Here, not even a bird may pass. No, not even the timid <laughs> doves that bring ambrosia to Father Jove. But the sheer rock always carries off one of them, and Father Jove has to send another to make up their number. No ship that ever yet came to these rocks like has got away again, point. but the waves and world... Let's split up. Come, Nikos. Meet me in front of the blue hippo. We're going to have two fights with two people. Could be. Alpha villains! Shoot. Why? Because I'm scared. Did you see her arm? All right, so what is this thing? We're in cover, at least. Oh, they're both going for her. I'm glad I gave her some uh, HP, anyway. Alright, okay, so what What are the... Come on, let me have my turn. What, oh, what are these things? Exotic plant disarms all characters that are standing on adjacent tiles. Standing near it at the end of the turn can be very dangerous. And what's this? Standing here at the end of the turn applies to some. So we just want to keep them there, don't we? All right. Um, well, uh, let's come here. Uh, here, maybe. So I want to stun this guy. Nikos, uh, he doesn't have any range apart from this one fishing rod thing, so that could be tricky. Let's move behind this one. I mean, I guess we'll do it, but I don't, I don't really want to get him to the point where we're pulling him out of the disarm range. I guess we'll, we'll see. They should both get disarmed. We don't have a push, but we do have bleed, so we'll probably do that. Yeah, I'm just going to actually kill this guy. And this guy's just never going to be able to attack, so... Shouldn't be too hard. He gets disarmed. He'd probably move out of that range though, but it's okay because we can do the damage to him to kill him. So. Damage three. Have some of that. Now I think ammo does get replenished between fights because her arm... Um, Stun gun does. So I don't think we need to uh, be too precious about not using those. Why they're choosing to stand by these flowers. Uh, so we could just duck a duck a duck it. Only does one though. Let's think. 
think about this. So Laura, what does she do again? Got that nail gun now, which is kind of good. Range two, damage three. They're both getting disarmed. Uh, this isn't a disarmed tile. Okay, what we could do is uh, let's do Rimbo first. If we move this guy along one. We can uh, do a Laura roundhouse kick and actually kill that one outright. Oh, no. No, we can't do that because she'll stop here. Oh, well, never mind. Uh, yeah, all right, we'll do three. You'll get, they both get disarmed anyway, so I guess it's not that bad. I'm guessing this is our introduction to this mechanic, so I imagine that it's going to get... Oh, why didn't they get disarmed? Okay, then. Who's this? Is he going to be immune to that somehow? Have a look. Yeah, immune to disarm. Okay, so that's not good. Range 5, damn it. Yeah. can hit him. He's a melee character, so I think we should do that. Laura, I th think we should probably use your health booster here. Because I think we'll... we'll uh, he's disarmed. We'll attack him. He's probably going to run up and take a hit. If he does three damage, that's probably Laura down, but I think Rimbo will be able to finish him off anyway. Oh, he doesn't move very far. Oh, he's got, he's got a ranged weapon. But he only did one damage. He did disarm, though, which isn't great. Now, he's not disarmed, and Laura is. So that's not terribly good. I think probably the best thing we could do is just pull this guy forward. He's dead. Can move as well, so I might move him back here to a bit of cover. Laura, <laughs> okay, we can we can jump to safety though, so let's uh, let's do that. Because he chose to do that with her behind cover, and only did the one damage. Ducker. Cool. To imagine this botanical garden was once my favourite safe place to get out of the city. Rimbo, was all this trouble worth it? To be honest, I don't know. Mr. Burnham is the only contact I have on this side of the border. Let's find out. I have a good feeling about this, Mr. Burnham. Don't jinx it. Rated with wreckage and with the bodies of dead men. What was she doing? The vessel that ever sailed okay, I was just looking at the time of the video. I think we'll probably leave it there for now. Seems like, let's just look at this um, pile of... Actually, it probably won't save if I do that anyway. So what we'll do, we'll leave it there for now. So thanks very much for watching this episode of High Water. I hope you've enjoyed it. Some interesting combats in this one. It's definitely getting more challenging, I think, uh, which is definitely a good thing. But hopefully uh, you've enjoyed it. And if you have, if you can hit the thumbs up button, that'd be great. Leave me a comment as well. Let me know what you think about the video so far and its aesthetic, its whole vibe. Have you enjoyed it? Is it something you might play let me know and um yeah if you're watching this and haven't already subscribed to the channel it would be amazing if you could so thanks very much and i hope to see you next time bye for now <laughs>